Hey everybody, Sean Tierney here from the Automation Blog, and today I want to talk to you about the PanelView Plus's configuration menu. Now, when you first buy a PanelView Plus, that's the menu that comes up automatically, and it lets you set the unit's time, it lets you configure the unit's IP address, and several other things. And when you create your project for your PanelView Plus in View Studio, you want to make sure you include at least one Go to Config button in your project somewhere. Um, but people forget sometimes, and they'll set their project to auto run, and they won't put a go to config button in there, and then people get frustrated. They're like, well, how do I break back into that configuration menu to change the time or date or, or IP address? And when the PanelView Plus first came out, there was really no easy way to do that. As a matter of fact, we used to resort to disassembling the unit, pulling out the internal compact flash, removing the MER file, from the internal compact flash and putting it on our hard drive and then reassembling the unit so when it powered back up it couldn't auto run that project because it wasn't there anymore and it would force the unit to go back to the configuration menu. But luckily in version 3.2.9 Rockwell added a new feature where when you, boot, when you booted the unit up you get this little white square in the bottom left hand corner and you could either touch that on the touch screen or press F1 on a keypad and that would bring up your configuration menu, bypassing whatever project was supposed to auto run. Um, but when they came out with version 6.0, they totally got rid of that. And not too many people were happy with that. Um, and while there was a way using a keyboard and pressing a reset button on the back of the unit to still get in there, um, that, wasn't, that wasn't easy. People wanted to do everything from the front of the panel. So they added that um, go to config white square and the F1 functionality back into firmware 6.1. However, you had to go into the control panel and enable it first before you could use it. So um, a lot of people would forget to do that. So we're in the same boat as we used to be. And so that's where um, auto run dot bat scripts became very handy. And you can see here, and I, I wrote a complete article about using them and the syntax and whatnot. Um, the bottom line is, if you put an auto run dot bat script on a USB stick and stick it into your panel view, you can have that script copy your MER files off of your panel onto your USB stick so that when you boot up, there's no more MER files there, so there's nothing for the panel view to auto run, and therefore it goes back to the configuration menu. So if you want to know more about anything I discussed in this video, please check out these articles here. I'll put a link on the screen. You can see them over at theautomationblog.com. And now I have a question for you. Did you find this video helpful? If you did, please let me know by liking the video. And if you'd like to see me produce more free videos like this on YouTube, then please let me know in the comments. In fact, if you'd like to help me reach my goal of making all of my videos ad-free, then please visit me over at patreon.com forward slash automation for as little as $1 a month. You can help me towards reaching my goal to make all of my videos and the automation blog completely ad-free. And with that said, that's the end of this video. Until next time, peace.